Hey everybody, Monday update, Tony George, DocSports.com, a big announcement right here, right now. I'm going to be doing a show tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a show three times a week with a new media partner, a big time sports personality, and an ex-NFL player. Um, something unique, something different, some uh, different perspective from a mainstream slash getting into the point spread uh, discussions on certain teams from, um, quite frankly, an expert. Uh, and something that's uh, different and unique in the sports handicapping marketplace, courtesy of DocSports.com. And that show will be up tomorrow morning, no later than oh, about 1 o'clock Central. So be sure and tune in. That's 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 it. Okay, uh, let's get to, uh, we're going to have a free play in a small conference today. Um, quickly, yesterday, Sunday, uh, the big news, the NASCAR debut didn't go well. Um, unfortunately, uh, the Daytona 500 was an absolute dumpster fire yesterday. We had two huge wrecks. Um, the first one didn't affect it, affect us. Uh, and these things happen on super speedways. Um, here, Talladega, uh, both, you can expect it. You need to be a little bit lucky in these. But we had Joey Logano as a top pick on our card. I bet a nickel on him. I also had a nickel on him in the top three to finish as another side bet. And uh, he was leading the race with less than a half lap left, and his own teammate wrecked him out. How'd you like to be that car owner? Took out $850,000 worth of your cars in one fell swoop. Brad Kozlowski, kiss my butt. You ruined my day. Wrecked out your own teammate on the last lap. Unreal. Nonetheless, uh, we'll bounce right back. There's 30-some races. Um, we just got unlucky yesterday. And, um, boy, that one stung, though. I didn't sleep well last night at all. I'm still a little ticked off this morning about it. Watched the video like 30 times. Just irritates the pee out of me. Damn it. Nonetheless, six-unit winner on Michigan yesterday. Winner in the NBA on uh, the San Antonio Spurs. And we uh, went 3-1 and one in the AT&T Pebble Beach. We had Daniel Berger yesterday, plus 110 over Patrick Cantlay. Not only did he whip his butt, he won the whole tournament. This week, uh, Riviera Country Club, Los Angeles, the Genesis Open. We'll be have head-to-heads up on Thursday for you there. So tonight, we have the uh, side pick, uh, four-unit, solid play in the Florida State-Virginia game, national TV game on ESPN, the biggest game of the day. Also have a four-unit totals play in the NBA and a rock-solid four-unit side pick in the NHL after a pass yesterday. Let's go. You get a free 60 bucks and link in the description below. Get on board with Docs and take advantage of the, uh, the free offerings. Get over to the website and check out all the free stuff we got over there, too. Tons of great information and stuff over there. And more free plays. You know, that's why you're here, right? Okay. Let's get to today's free play, Ohio Valley Action. This is a conference I follow well. Tennessee Tech taking on, at home, taking on uh, Eastern Kentucky. Tennessee Tech is 3-19 and on the year. They don't have any offense. Uh, they're 3-5 and at home. Usually in small conferences, you'll notice that teams, even weak sisters, always have a, you know, close to a home, winning home record. These guys aren't even close. They can't score. Last time they played, Eastern Kentucky beat them by 10 and put up 90 on them. Last three games, 93, 74, and 78 points scored for Eastern Kentucky here. They average 82 a game versus 64 a game for Tennessee Tech. And when you allow 60, when you allow 76 and only score 64, that's a recipe for disaster evidenced by a 3-19 and record. I have this game uh, at Eastern Kentucky, who was 16-5 and 10-4 and in the conference. And uh, they're not going to overlook a weak sister here on the road, even though this is their fourth road game in a row. They're not going to overlook this team because they are vying for top spot in the conference. They're in second place in this conference. Every single game counts. So they're going to bring their game. They're going to be ready to play, and they have way too much offense, despite Tennessee Tech's only positive to them is they have a halfway decent defense. But at the end of the day, you just can't shut Eastern Kentucky down. And the fact I have a 14-point power rating between these two, and yet the line is 7.5. Give me Eastern Kentucky minus the 7.5 on the road tonight 
over Tennessee Tech in the Ohio Valley. That's your free pick. Back at you tomorrow with a brand new show and a brand new twist and something you're all going to love.